Hello everyone. So in this video tutorial, I'd like to talk about the uh, control error network physical layer and some of the things you can do to um, play around with it. Change it up a little bit. So uh, this is a typical physical layer, which consists of you know a CAN controller, a CAN transceiver, and a bus line. And yeah, you can have multiple nodes on the on the bus. Now, it, there's there's a way you can actually uh, hook this up without uh, using a CAN transceiver. So typically, you need like a buy a a chip that can convert the TX RX uh, signal from the controller into CAN high and CAN low, which is a different signal on the bus line. Now you can actually implement the CAN uh, network using a single bus line and without uh, the CAN transceiver chip. And the way you can accomplish, accomplish this is using a, a fast diode connected to the TX line each for each node. And typically uh, a dial like 1N914 will work. You, you don't want to use a rectified dial for sure because of the uh, long longer re, um, reverse recovery time so it wouldn't work for high speed uh, CAN transmission. But the nice thing about this uh, approach is that you only need a single uh, transmission line in your network. But this this is a single ended uh, version of the CAN, um, CAN bus. So it's, it's not very robust to noise and all the uh, really nice feature of a typical differential CAN bus. But the nice thing about this is that you can just hook it up uh, very fast. Uh, you know, the, you know, minimal number of parts. And the last thing you need to do is you need to pull this line up to VCC. And for mine, uh, for my bus, I have a launch pad which uses uh, 3.3 volts. Even though my um, my input can tolerate up to 5 volts, so I just use around 2 kilo ohms here. If you use a 5 volt VCC, then you want to use a higher uh, resistance, which is 3 3k or something like that. All right? Make sure these are the 1N914 type. Uh, you know, high-speed diodes, and yeah, make sure. And another thing is like, um, since you have a transceiver uh, as the intermediate step, you need to con uh, make sure they share the same ground. A, a normal CAN bus can tolerate uh, very, uh, very large ground differences ground potential differences but this one uh, this for this um, approach you need to have a common ground between the two notes or two or more notes whatever you, you you may have so that is all for this uh, tutorial if you want to learn more about can and uh, everything you want to know is basically you can find online and I, I found this on the CAN primer, which explains uh, everything you need to know. Also, the TI has some really nice documentation on the uh, physical layer and just a, more than you ever want to know. So let's check it out. Uh, leave me comments. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.